What's up everybody? I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious red velvet cake. A red velvet cake is a chocolate cake with either a dark red, bright red, or a reddish brown color and it is traditionally prepared as a layer cake with cream cheese frosting like how you see here. My recipe for a red velvet cake calls for a nice, fluffy, and moist red velvet cake. It is good. This cake is made with flour, butter, oil, eggs, sugar, buttermilk, cocoa powder, and red food coloring. Now, the secret to making a red velvet cake, we gotta combine a mixture of baking soda and vinegar. And we're gonna add that into our cake batter and bake it to perfection. Once the cake is cooled, we're gonna fill the inside of the cake and we're gonna top it with a delicious, creamy, and non-runny cream cheese frosting. And today I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to make this delicious southern classic. So let's get started. Okay this is all what you're going to need to make your red velvet cake and we're going to get started with our ingredients. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, sugar, unsalted butter at room temperature, sweet brown cocoa and this is the Dutch process that I'm going to be using for this recipe. You're going to need some baking soda, baking powder, three large eggs at room temperature, buttermilk at room temperature, vegetable oil, vanilla extract, vinegar, and some red gel paste food coloring. And you will also need some black gel paste food coloring. And for our cake frosting, you're going to need some confectioner sugar and some cream cheese. And to bake our red velvet cake, you're going to need some Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray and two 9 inch round cake pans. And if you want to decorate your red velvet cake, here I have a bag with a large tippler and coupler set. Um, this is the large version and this is the small version and you can use this just in case if you want to decorate your red velvet cake. Here are the actual decorating tips that I'm going to be using for this recipe. I'm going to be using the Wilton number 21 tip. This is going to be for piping out my borders and I'm going to be using the Wilton number 5 tip for my writing and I'm also going to be using the Wilton number 2A tip for piping out some balloons onto my cake. Okay? And there we have it. Let's get straight to it. Add two one half cups of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth cup of sweetened or unsweetened cocoa powder. And now we're going to go ahead and sift that into a large bowl. We're going to go ahead and give that a quick stir. Now in a separate bowl we're going to add one cup of buttermilk. Make sure your buttermilk is at room temperature. And to that we're going to add two teaspoons of gel paste red food coloring. Mix all ingredients together until well combined. If you are using a stand mixer like I have, use the paddle attachment or you can use a hand mixer. In our stand mixer with the paddle attachment, add one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and one two third cups of sugar. We're going to mix all ingredients together and we're going to start our mixer off on a medium speed. Then we're going to increase the speed of our mixer to the highest setting. And we're going to beat this for about four minutes. Now at some point during those four minutes you're going to stop your mixer and you're going to scrape down the sides of your bowl. And you're going to continue mixing that in. Now we're going to scrape down our sides of our bowl again and there you go. Now we're going to add three large eggs in one at a time. We're going to add the first egg in. 
mix that until it's well combined add the second egg in mix that until it's well combined add the third egg in mix that until it's well combined and there we have it looking good add two teaspoons of 100 percent pure vanilla extract mix until well combined All right, and we are done here. Let's scrape down the sides of your bowl. Here we have our buttermilk mixture and our all-purpose flour mixture. And we're going to alternate this into our batter into three separate intervals. We're going to spray both of our pans with non-stick baking spray. And we're going to preheat our oven to 325 degrees. Add one cup of your all-purpose flour mixture and one third cup of your red buttermilk. Mix all ingredients together until well combined. Add one cup of all purpose flour mixture and one third cup of your red buttermilk. Mix all ingredients together until well combined. Add one cup of your all-purpose flour mixture and one fourth cup of your red buttermilk. Mix all ingredients together until well combined. Now for the secret step. Add one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of vinegar. And as you can see it's nice and bubbling up. Now we're going to add that into our cake batter. Mix until well combined. And we're done. Our red velvet cake batter is now ready. Now we're going to pour the batter into our baking pans as even as possible. Using a spoon, you're going to spread your batter around your pans. And we're going to shape the pans. And we're going to give it a little tap. And this will make your batter even. Now it's ready to be baked. Place into a preheated 325 degree oven. And we're going to bake this for 40 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and set my timer to 40 minutes. Now right time is up. We're going to remove our cakes out of the oven after baking on 325 degrees for about 40 minutes. I'm going to do a toothpick test. Insert it and it's clean. I'm going to do the other side. Insert it and it's clean. Now you're going to let these cakes cool completely before you frost them. Now let's get started with our cream cheese frosting and our stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Add two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature and to that we're going to add four ounces of cream cheese and make sure your cream cheese is cold. Okay. Mix all ingredients together until well combined. Now we're going to scrape down the sides of our bowl. Add two cups of confectioner sugar. Mix until well combined. We're going to scrape down the sides of our bowl. Add two cups of confectioner sugar. 
and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix all ingredients together until well combined. And we're done. Looks good. Now I'm going to show you how stiff this is. Look at this. I shake my spatula. I even hit it on my bowl. And that frosting isn't going anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. It's perfect consistency. These next few steps are totally optional. Add one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature. And to that, we're going to add two cups of confectioner sugar. Mix until well combined. Scrape down the sides of your mixing bowl. Now as you can see your buttercream is pretty thick. We're going to thin that out. Add one teaspoon of whole milk and one teaspoon of 100% pure vanilla extract. Mix all ingredients together until well combined. And we're done. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Now remember this step is totally optional. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do this step, okay? Now we're going to take a small amount of the buttercream and we're going to place this into a small bowl. And we're going to color this as well. Now we're going to add a little bit of color. We're going to add about a teaspoon of gel paste red food coloring to this. And we're going to mix that in until it's well combined. And we're done. Nice, beautiful red color. Now we're going to color this buttercream. We're going to add about a teaspoon of black gel paste food coloring. And we're going to mix that in until it's well combined. And there we have it. It's a nice, beautiful black color. Now we're going to take our piping bag. I'm going to just give you a demonstration. We're going to take a, a coupler and we're just going to add that into the piping bag. Make sure you fit it all the way on the end. Now here we have a, a Wilton number 21 tip. We're going to place that on top of the coupler. And we're going to screw that on. Now remember this is just a demonstration and this is also totally optional. Do not have to do this if you don't want to. And here we have the large coupler and tip. Now we're going to take our red buttercream and we're going to add that into our piping bag. We're going to take our black buttercream and we're going to add that into our piping bag. We're going to shake our piping bag in a downward motion to get the buttercream to settle at the bottom and once it's settled at the bottom it is ready to be piped now we're going to add the wilted number no. five tip on to our coupler and we're going to just screw that in place and there you go we're going to take our piping bag and we're going to shake the piping bag in a downward motion this will get the buttercream to settle toward the bottom of the bag now using a sharp knife we're going to cut off um, the top of our cake layer and you want to go all around very carefully and once you're done you're just going to uh, peel that right off and you can use this to make crumbs to add onto the sides and on top of your cake if you like now we're going to add some cream cheese frosting on top of our first uh, layer of cake using a spatula we're going to spread our frosting around our cake layer as evenly as possible Now we're going to add our second layer of cake right on top of our first layer. I'm going to press down gently to seal the two layers. Now we're going to add a small amount of cream cheese frosting on top of our cake layer. And we're going to apply what you call a crumb coat. A crumb coat is the base coat of icing on a cake, which seals in the crumbs. So you want to carefully go along the top and the sides of your cake layers. 
and we're done. Place your cake into a freezer for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you're going to remove it out of your freezer. You can also add this into your refrigerator too if you like. Now we're going to go ahead and apply our final coat onto our cake layers. And we're going to spread that around with our spatula as evenly as possible. And you will notice that, that as you are spreading your frosting along the top, some of your frosting will kind of free fall along the sides of your cake. So that will allow you to uh, frost the sides of your cake as well. Now we're going to smoothen out the top part of your cake. Do it the best way you can. Now we're going to smoothen out the sides of your cake. And there we have it. I'm going to smoothen out the top just a little bit more. Now here I have a decorating cone. We're just going to take this decorating cone and we're just going to go all around the sides of our cake with it. Just go all around. And this is how it looks when we're done. Got a nice little pattern on the sides. Looks fancy. <laughs> we're going to start off by piping out our border along the top of our cake. Do it the best way you can. And also remember, you do not have to do this step at all if you do not want to do it. You could just take your crumbs and place it along the top and the sides, and there you go. Now we're going to uh, do the bottom border now. Here is another view of me putting the bottom border onto the side of the cake. And there we have it. We have our top and our bottom borders finished. Now here I am writing happy. Now I am using the number five tip by Wilton and I've taken some uh, buttercream and I uh, used some black gel paste food coloring to turn the buttercream black. And now I'm using that to uh, write happy 31st birthday Charlie. On my cake. Now this is a uh, very uh, nerve-wracking when I uh, do writing on cakes. Not perfect, but I do the best I can. Now I'm also very slow when it comes to writing on cakes. I like to take my time, you know. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Doing pretty good to say I'm uh, not a professional cake decorator, huh? <laughs> now we're going to pipe out some balloons. I'm using a number 2A tip. That's the big tip that I'm using to pipe out these balloons. Now we're going to pipe out some strings for the balloons. Now I'm going to give you a preview of the cake. Here it is. Turned out beautiful. Happy 31st birthday, Charlie. Me. <laughs> and here's the side. Here's the side view. Looks beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut you a slice. Wow, look at that. Look at how nice and fluffy and moist that looks. Oh, it looks so good. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen red velvet cake made from scratch by a New Orleans native. Thanks for watching.
button to go ahead and take a bite. Now I know throughout the video you guys see me make this cake like a birthday cake. Well of course it's my birthday and I want red velvet cake for my birthday. So there we have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Mmm. Man, you can taste that cocoa. It gives it that nice cocoa flavor, the fluffiness, of the texture. Mmm. And you got that cream cheese frosting. Man, I am in heaven right now. For real. This cake is so good. It's fluffy, moist, delicious. Try the recipe. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Red Velvet Cake, made from scratch by New Orleans Native. Thanks for watching. And um, happy birthday to me. Mm. Mm. Hey, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy all of my delicious recipes cooked right here in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please post them or you can email me at charliethecookandrews at gmail.com. You can also contact me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash charliethecookandrews. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charliethecookandrews.webs.com. And if you want to donate to the channel, check out the links in the description box and it will take you step by step on how to donate. So, until next time, take care, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.